This video shows you how to create a model with temporary crowns. Proceed with the design of the temporary crowns until you reach the end of the wizard, then go on with the model creation. It is important to select this model type. Afterwards, the software allows you to choose adjacent removable teeth. For teeth on which the temporary crowns have been created, you do not need to modify anything in this step. As you proceed, you arrive at the model creation. Within the arch preview, you can select the teeth as temporary crowns by clicking on the individual teeth of the reconstruction, which will appear in red. In this way, when you create the model, removable abutments will be inserted with the modeled anatomies. In this step, the software will use the anatomies and not the finished parts, so make sure you have modeled the teeth before the final incorporation. If you click a second time on the selected teeth in the menu, they become purple and will be selected as temporary abutments. When the model is created, the inner parts of the temporary crowns will be used to create the removable abutments, which you can use to try out the milled temporary crowns before handing the model to the dentist. Let's take tooth 42 as an example. If during the creation of this type of model the tooth is not extracted correctly, go back one step, enter the master menu, and click on the background. Among the several options appeared on the screen, you must select the tooth extraction function. Then proceed by clicking on the tooth to extract and delete it. At this point, apply the changes made to your scan, and return to model creation. Watch the upcoming videos on the new version of Zircon's on Modeller to discover all the features of the software.